Lynn, you're on News 96.5. Go ahead. Hi, good morning. Thanks for taking my call. Uh, I have a question. I am considering a home purchase from a friend. We've been friends for about 30 years, um, and it would be a cash purchase from friend to friend. So I've never done this before, so I had a couple of questions. First, um, if it's cash purchase and there's no loan involved, uh, do you still recommend an inspection, or is it required? It would not be required, but I would recommend it. So, Lynn, even though you're buying from a friend, even though you're an all-cash buyer, I do not recommend that this is an opportunity to cut any corners. So, yes, I would okay. I would suggest that you, uh, first of all, I suggest that you have a full-blown contract for sale and purchase done, and I would recommend that you have an inspection done. Okay. Uh, I have a couple other questions, if Go that's ahead. okay. Yep. Okay. So, um, in this type of sale, and again, I've been in my current home for about, 25 years, so it's, I, this is pretty new to me at this point. Um, who would pay closing costs, and what are they? Just basically, I mean, I know there's different ones, but uh, would the seller or the buyer? Or is okay, it, or is there so the, um, it is customary that your seller pay the two major closing costs. They are dock stamps on a deed, and the other one is title insurance. If you are an all-cash buyer, Lynn, your closing cost might be $250 or less. So as wow. a, in this situation, your seller is going to pay the bulk of the closing costs. That would be customary. Wow. Okay. All right. Um, I have another question regarding taxes. When you purchase a home in Florida, do you pay, like, tax? Like you would when you purchase a major appliance? I mean, I just didn't know. Well, when you... Uh, do a deed and you record it in the public records here in the state of Florida, you have to pay the state of Florida documentary stamps for the privilege of transacting that. The doc stamps are based on how much money is changing hands between the two parties. So that is a tax lien, but that is customarily paid by the seller. So just for example, if, for example, uh, the seller sold me the house for $200,000, is there a percentage that's the doc Stamp is the doc, based on, the, the or? doc stamps on two hundred thousand dollars would be fourteen hundred dollars. Okay, all right, um, and th- that's not what we're looking at, but I just wanted to see. And so, and usually the buyer pays that, or the seller, the usually, seller, right? Usually the seller pays that. Okay. Okay. So, if a friend, a friend does this, you know, we don't. Um, I mean, we've been friends for a long time. They live in another state. They're ready to get rid of this property. How long does the process take if we say, okay, let's do this? Is it a long involved process, and should we get an attorney? Lynn, you, again, there's no opportunities to cut corners here. So step number one is a contract for sale and purchase. It is signed by the buyer, signed by the seller. That way we know we have a meeting of the minds. Once the contract is signed, then you would give it to a title company like me. I would do a title search. We Then we would have a closing where documents and monies change hands. And among the other things that you would receive would be a title insurance policy that ensures to you that you're getting good, clear title to this piece of property, free and clear of all liens and encumbrances. So, Lynn, to, to do that, you need to either have a title company or an attorney assist you. Lynn, I could definitely help you with this from contract to closing. I could help you with this. Okay. And uh, are, do you have a, a number where... We can follow through with this. Yeah, Lynn, you can call me at my office at 407-423-5561 or reach me through our website, and that is lawtube.com, like YouTube, but lawtube.com. Lynn, I look forward to being of assistance to you. 